Imagine a place so dark and cold, sunlight never reaches it. That's where the giant Pacific octopus and the Pacific sleeper shark live. The octopus is a master of disguise, slipping through cracks and vanishing in plain sight. Meanwhile, the sleeper shark cruises slowly, conserving energy in the frigid water. These two rarely meet, but when they do, it's a silent, high-stakes encounter between stealth and strength in the deep sea's frozen battlefield. The giant Pacific octopus is no ordinary cephalopod. With nine brains, three hearts, and the ability to squeeze through holes the size of a coin, it's a genius of the deep. It can open jars, solve puzzles, and even recognize individual humans. Its arms are lined with powerful suckers, each capable of independent movement. This isn't just a creature. It's a living, thinking escape artist, perfectly adapted to outwit predators in the cold, crushing pressure of the deep. Enter the Pacific Sleeper Shark, a slow, ghostly predator that can grow up to 20 feet long. It's not fast, but it doesn't need to be. This shark relies on stealth and patience, gliding silently through the water. Its bite is powerful, and it's been found with remains of seals and even giant squid in its stomach. Despite its sluggish pace, it's a top predator in the deep, using ambush tactics to surprise prey that never sees it coming. When these two meet, it's not a flashy fight. It's a chess match. The octopus might try to wrap its arms around the shark's gills, cutting off its oxygen. But the shark's thick skin and powerful bite make it a dangerous opponent. In rare footage, octopuses have been seen clinging to sharks, possibly trying to suffocate them. But the shark can thrash violently, turning the tables. It's a deadly dance of strategy, not speed, in the deep sea shadows. So who wins? It depends. The octopus has the brains and agility, but the shark has endurance and raw power. In the deep sea, survival isn't about dominance. It's about adaptation. These two rarely fight to the death. Instead, they test each other's limits, then retreat. It's a reminder that in nature's coldest corners, the most epic battles are often the quietest. No roars, no splashes, just a silent war beneath the waves where only the clever or the cautious survive. 